My name is Cole Roberts. I'm a nursing instructor at SCC, um, and we're going to be working on the uh, sim man here that we have in the lab. And actually control all of his vital signs through all of these buttons here. If you see, we can just click straight on the EKG monitoring, pick out any rhythm, uh, heart rhythm that we want. We can select that and change those things. We can change the arterial blood pressures. We can actually make SimMan talk. Um, we can say certain things. As you see, there's a whole list of things. Once SimMan gets completely up and running, we can actually have a microphone in the room and the voice of the instructor can come through as SimMan's voice. Uh, we can change all the lung sounds. Uh, we can change bowel sounds. And actually, make SimMan talk and you should be able to hear him through the speakers here. There's a microphone in the other room, so. And they can actually go through and ask him all kinds of questions and he can answer them. No, I don't feel busy. Okay, so we can actually go through and yeah, list I'm all these nauseous. canned vocal sounds. And then we can actually make changes, visible changes. So I'll change here and we'll change this rhythm into a third degree AV block. And you'll actually see the change applied here on the screen automatically changes the heart rate okay and then you can also adjust the blood pressures so we can drop his blood pressures to coincide with the heart rate and we can do that over an amount of time so you will see that the blood pressure will gradually fall and this is indicative both on the control computer and in the room monitor as well. We're going to be going through a scenario. Uh, as you'll see here, it's run in a control room by this computer. And the students are going to be in another room running this scenario. So as you see, the students are in the other room. And they will be running the scenario in the other room. They cannot see the instructor in this room who is sitting at the control desk running the simulation. Now there's all different simulations set up on the computer that we can run through. For this example, we're just going to be running through a simple scenario. Uh, the students will be assessing a patient who has abdominal pain, some nausea, and vomiting. And you'll see them go through that scenario. Well, Mr. Brown, I'm Susan. I'm your nurse today, and this is Rebecca. And I'm Crystal. We're going to be helping you out today. We hope to make you feel better. Thank you. Rebecca, would you like to go ahead and take Mr. Brown's vitals? Sure. Chris, I'm going to start by taking some pulses. Crystal, would you like to go ahead and also take Mr. Yep. I'm just going to take a listen to your heart, lung, and bowel sounds. Just go ahead and breathe normal. I'm so sick. No, I've never had pain like this before. Do we want to start an IV? Uh, we'll want to start an IV as soon as possible. Okay. Okay, I'm going to attempt to get your blood pressure before we start that IV. Okay. Yes, I'm quite nauseous. Okay, we're going to get an IV going. That way we can get you some medicine. Tie a little tourniquet around you so you'll feel a little bit of pressure. When did your pain, did your pain begin? Yesterday, Mr. Brown? Blood pressure is 146 over 92. A couple of hours now. Little, pick, little prick from the needle. Okay. IV's in. Pulses are good. Have you listened? Is your pain sharp? Give me something for this pain. It hurts. It really hurts. Okay. We're going to get you some morphine here. We're going to put it through your IV, so you should be feeling better here pretty yeah, quick. I'm quite nauseous. And because okay. of the morphine, I'm going to attach pulse ox. So we can monitor your oxygen saturation. Morphine's going in right now. Should be feeling better. How's your pain level now, Mr. Brown? Is it a 7? Yes. Still 7. Okay. I just gave you some pain medication. Are you still feeling nausea? I'm so sick. Do you think you're going to vomit? Yes. Okay, let's turn him to the side. Into your side. I have, uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. All right. Now lay it back. Get you cleaned up here. Good job.
all cleaned up. Would you like your head to be a little bit higher? Yes, I'm quite nauseous. Okay, I'm going to get you something for that vomiting. Do you want to Okay. I'm going to put it through your IV again. Oh. Thank you. I just took his temperature. It's 37.2. All right. Okay. All right, that should be making you feel better here pretty soon. Mr. Brown, are you allergic to anything? No, I'm not allergic to anything. pulse is going down. I'm going to put some oxygen on him. Are you feeling better? Yes. Okay. On a scale of one... On a scale of 1 to 10, are you a 7? No. Are you a 6? No. Are you a 5? Yes. Okay, I think okay. I got some relief on that. I'm going to go ahead and listen to your bowel sounds like we were going to do before. <clears throat> I feel better now. I'm just going to palpate your abdomen. Tell me if anything hurts. Does that hurt? Yes. Okay. It hurts over here? Yes. Does it okay. hurt when you press in or when she lets go? Press in? Does it hurt? No. When you let go? Yes. Okay. All right. We're going to take some blood to the lab. See if we can find out what's causing you that pain. Okay, we're going to send this to the lab. Thank you. You're feeling better now, Mr. Simman? I feel better now. Okay. We'll get that blood sent to the Thank lab, you. and as soon as we find something out, we'll let you know. Your call light's right here, so you call for us if you need anything. Thank you. Well, it's more like a real-life person than um, the other dummies are. This, you can actually hear the breath sounds, the bowel sounds. It weighs more like a real person would, and you can feel for the pulses in approximately the right places. So it, it makes me feel a lot more comfortable knowing that I'm doing things right. And as the conditions change, they flash up there in that screen, and you can keep an eye on what's going on because that's real life in the ICU. and various other areas within this facility, so you, you learn to keep an eye on your patient and on the screen to see what's going on. And it makes us much, much more comfortable, get used to it. Yeah, um, you know, he's like an upgraded version of the uh, mannequins that we practice on in school. Um, it really helps us, like, as far as, like, feeling his pulses and stuff, um, exactly where we're feeling them, and we can actually feel them beating, um, not just, you know, feeling, you know, nothing, so... Um, it actually really helps us out as far as um, where to palpate the um, pulses and um, listening to breath sounds and lung sounds and bowel sounds. We actually can hear them. So it gives us um, <clears throat> a real good idea of like, you know, what crackles sound like, what um, wheezes sound like. It's, it's a really good experience. It's definitely going to help us out in the future. Well, and then having the computer simulator you know, where we can yell out while well, we would push this or what have you. Like yesterday when we played with it, his heart rate was doing some funky things and had to give him the oxygen and set him up and, and then to see what it does to help out as far as when you give him the oxygen, does the heart rate go back up? Um, so to remember those things because you don't, I mean, you can learn it in a book, but until you actually do it in real life, you don't remember to think about those things. So it really helps think the scenarios do because then he can push on the computer monitor that hey they gave him the oxygen and then we can see the changes to see what it did for him. Or we gave him the morphine and we can see what it does, the heart rate or the oxygen saturation, things such as that. So I like the scenario parts of it too. You actually do feel kind of panicky when yeah. things start going bad when you're starting to see things on the screen. You really do feel yeah. that sense of panicky. It's more and you feel yeah. more urgent to, to do something to make it better.